Welcome to the channel Data Science Demonstrated where you learn data science using examples and visuals. In this video, you will see on how to use machine learning for churn prediction. For any company, it is important to acquire new customers and at the same time avoid churn or customer leaving in order to remain profitable. In order to solve the churn problem, let me introduce you to the magic triangle of machine learning which I will be using in this video. I'll start with data exploration and hypothesis building. In this step, you'll see on how to explore the data and develop an hypothesis on why the customers are joining. Next is the machine learning, where we will build a machine learning model which will be able to make predictions if the customer will join or not. And the last step is model explanation. And here I will demonstrate on how to explain the machine learning model predictions. The explanations can then be checked with the initial hypothesis. You can also try out all the techniques which are shown on this video on my website experiencedatascience.com which is a no-code platform to learn data science. So friends, let us get started but do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video. I will take an example of a telecommunication company that collects data related to customer demographics, services the customer has, as well as the information if the customer has joined or not. One of the useful data exploration techniques is analyzing the categorical or the non-numeric data versus the target variable which is churn or no churn. Now shown here is an example of gender versus the target variable. We see a very similar pattern for churners and non-churners and the proportion of female versus male is equivalent. And this means that the gender does not have an impact on churning. Let us now take the text support. The pattern between the churners and non-churners is not similar and you can observe that the customers who do not have text support have a higher churn. So text support is an important feature in determining churn. Here is an analysis of all the categorical variables and this visualization can be useful in understanding the categorical features which are impacting the churn in a single visual. We can do a similar analysis for numerical variables using a box plot visualization. Shown here is an example of tenure versus target variable. We can observe that the customers who have less tenure are likely to churn. Shown here is an analysis of monthly charges. You will observe that high monthly charges also are reasons to churn. Based on the data exploration, we can make the following observations. Customers who have less tenure are likely to churn. High monthly charges are also reasons to churn. And customers with limited services are likely to churn. And we can make the following hypothesis. Customers who have high monthly charges and low tenure tend to churn more. Also, these relatively new customers paying high monthly charges do not have all the services included in the high monthly charge. So, they are probably churning as they are not getting value and services despite the high monthly charges. Let us now go to the next step of training in machine learning model. Now there are various machine learning algorithms and the one which will be used here is called XGBoost. The model is trained using the dependent variables such as the demographic fields, the type of services and the billing fields and the target variable is shown. The machine learning model will try to find a relation between the dependent variables and the target variables. The data is split into two, the training data set and the test data set. The trained data is used to train the machine learning model and the test data is used to verify the accuracy of the model. The results can be visualized as a confusion matrix which is shown on the screen. We have 1350 customers in the test data which did not actually churn and XGBoost predicted it correctly. Similarly, there are 293 customers who have churned and XGBoost also predicted it correctly. The algorithm got confused and did not predict for some customers correctly. But that is okay as it is difficult for machine learning to be 100% accurate. Talking about accuracy, the XGBoost has achieved an accuracy of 82% which is good enough to go to the next step. 
It is now time to make predictions using the machine learning model. Let us now explain some of the predictions. For example, let us take a customer who is predicted to chop. This prediction can be explained with a visualization which is shown here. The positive bars means the factors which are contributing to churn. A negative bar means the factors which are not contributing to churn. We see that the top factors which are contributing to churn are contract and total charges. The contract is a monthly contract and the total charges which are 75 are relatively low, indicating a low tenure. and this explanation also matches with the initial hypothesis now let us take another example of a customer who is predicted not to churn the explanation of the prediction is shown over here we see that the monthly charges and the tenure are the top factors which are preventing the customer not to churn the tenure of 38 is high and thus the customer is not churning and this explanation also matches with our initial hypothesis so hope you have enjoyed watching the video you can also try out some of the analytics which are shown in this video on the channel's website experiencedatascience.com on this website you can go to the experience churn prediction using machine learning you can then click on the data story to understand the context and then you can get hands on and try it out for yourself you can hover over the tip button which will tell you on what to do at each step you'll be able to experience all the visuals and analytics which are shown in this video without any need to code thank you for watching